Hi there and welcome to a video where we will be covering the best investments that can triple your money in 2022. 2021 has been hard for some people, yet for some it seems like they've made more money than ever. If you're like me and interested in figuring out how they did it, then stick around because this video is going to be worth it. Of course, this is just my opinion and not financial advice. Before we start, however, a small request, please share some questions you might have in the comments below or let me know what topic videos you want me to make in the future. At the end of this video, we'll also be giving away the surprise of today. In this video, we'll be covering the following 10 investments. Networking, Audible, starting a side hustle, starting a business with a friend, index funds, retirement funds, individual stocks, crypto trading with stable coins, not altcoins, crypto DeFi 2.0, and real estate vacation rentals. These are ranked from starter level or low budget investments to more advanced or higher budget investments. I'll be looking at both the US perspective and European perspective, which is hard to find on YouTube. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any update videos. All right, let's jump right into it. Let's talk about networking. The first one is going to be the easiest one, and it's gonna cover two things. First of all, networking has the ability to set you up into a mastermind, as well as change some mindsets. We've all heard of the saying, you're only as good as the five people around you. Well, if you're networking and the five people around you become people that are millionaires, you'll be a millionaire. If the five people around you are people who are very into health, you'll become quite healthy. And if these are just people who value their relationships much more, then you'll probably make more friends. So you're only as good as the five people around you. So what I suggest you do for this year, which will help you a ton and cost nothing, is look at who you're hanging out with most of the time. If you can find five people that have achieved what you want to achieve, there's a high probability that surrounding yourself with these people, you might achieve those goals as well by the end of the year. Now, one of the most common questions that I get is where do you find these people? Well, there are a ton of virtual events happening and of course, physical events wherever possible with all the guidelines. So my suggestion is try to find the virtual events if you don't wanna get outside your house or try to find where there are actual meetups happening. Because again, if you can find five people and convince them to maybe join you on an accountability call every week or every two weeks, it will start shaping your mindset. The next investment is Audible. Now I had a podcast on my other channel with a YouTuber called Jesse Eckel, and he's on a journey from zero to one million. He's doing really well, but he contributes most of his success to his early decision to read as many books as possible. And most of the books that he read was on Audible. If I look back at my journey, Audible was a great tool to listen to many books. Some books that I recommend like Can't Hurt Me or The Compound Effect or Think and Grow Rich or Rich Dad Poor Dad, these are great mindset shifters. Dan Kennedy is always a great read to give you some perspective on what is possible. All of these books are available on Audible and you can read them while literally falling asleep in your bed. Audible has a small investment, I'm not sponsored, but you can find if you Google some discounts or some YouTubers who are offering maybe a free code or a really cheap code. That alone is worth it so that you can start that journey. If you're struggling with sales, pick up some sales books. If you're struggling with marketing, pick up some marketing books. Some great marketing books is for instance, Guerrilla Marketing, Gary Vee has great content, and Neil Patel has great content as well. By reading that content, you'll start learning new ways to scale your content and start making more money. So a great cheap way to start experimenting with new ideas. Number three, starting a side hustle. Now we're starting a little bit more complex. Most of you that are listening have a job or are studying. Starting a side hustle is gonna be tough because you're gonna be investing most of your free time with that. I'll be honest with you, one of the things that has really helped me is I quit Netflix this year and by just doing that part and only having something like Disney Plus, which let's be honest, isn't as interesting as the things that are happening currently on Netflix, I was able to open up several hours a day. Yep. I was watching that much Netflix. To fill up that time, I decided to take my YouTube journey a little bit more serious 
and go a little bit deeper into this side hustle. So if you ever wonder where you can open up more time, try to look at where your leisure time is going and see if you can cut some things. And then with the extra time, you can start things like selling things on Marketplace or maybe starting a YouTube channel, creating a mini course, or just coaching if you are already in that stage of your career. Number four, starting a business with a friend. Now in the last couple of years, I've invested in a couple of businesses. And one of the things that I've learned, which was a struggle for me to realize as I was growing my own business, is it is much easier when you have somebody you're building a business with than doing it alone. Now many people don't have that opportunity, like I didn't have that opportunity, so I started on my own. By the time I grew my network to a point where I could actually start a business with someone, my business had grown at that point, so it wasn't necessary. But when I looked at the investments that I made, the moment a co-founder was introduced, the whole relationship and the load and the pressure started getting split up, and so the journey became more fun. So if you're struggling with starting a business, maybe what you should be doing is not looking at which business to start, but maybe look at the first step, which is networking and finding someone to start a business with. Maybe it's an old friend, or maybe it's someone that you meet at these virtual events or just normal events. Starting a business with someone you trust makes the journey much nicer and could change your year forever. 